Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for you to see what is in store for today, but before we do that, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe to my channel before you leave, and let's get started. So today's going to be a fun video. I've been seeing this kind of video float around. It's the Shop Your Stash. So basically, um, how I'm interpreting it is that um, basically instead of like going out and buying a bunch of new stuff, you just basically try to shop from your stash of makeup that you have and just like go through stuff that you haven't used in a while um and like just use it in a video basically is what i'm noticing um people are also doing like a no buy for this year so like they're not gonna buy no buy or limited buy so basically they're gonna like not buy any makeup this year and just try to use up what they have or they're just gonna only buy stuff that they may need like if they run out of something stuff like that um, I'm still probably going to review stuff that um, I've already purchased, but I may not purchase really any more after what I've gotten, so we'll just see what happens. But um, I'm not promising a no buy, limited buy, stuff like that, but probably a limited buy just for my own good so I don't just keep buying stuff. But anyway, so the first product that I'm going to be using, I'm not actually going to be going in with a primer or a foundation. And you're thinking, well, how are you going to apply your other products? Well, I'm actually going to be going in with a powder. So I normally use this puff. Um, it's just a puff from BH Cosmetics, but this powder is actually from Physicians Formula. It is the multicolored face corrector in green. So basically, as you see, I have redness. So sometimes I like to use a like powder foundation where it's like an actual powder that you use as foundation. So normally it's like in like a compact kind of thing like this. And it has like pigment to it instead of it just being like a translucent powder or like a loose translucent powder. So basically in like my redness or problem areas per se like where my cheeks are red I normally use this and then I would go in with like a like powder type of foundation on top and around the other areas that I didn't put the green corrector because if you put the green too much of the green corrector on your face could look green or if you put it in areas where it's not red like you know like around here where it's not red it would show up like actual green but green's basically a contrast of red so if you use that on your redness it'll help combat that um, not just powder but like color correctors and all that kind of stuff it also has like a brush at the bottom and a mirror I think that's really cute but I'm gonna be using my own mirror and my own brush I don't really like the brush in there I've never really tried it but it just doesn't seem like something that I would use to apply this kind of product I'd normally use like some kind of brush or a sponge so normally if I'm going to go in with a powder product, I would use a dry sponge unless I had already had it wet from doing something else. Um, but normally I would take a dry sponge, kind of like dig in there and like push it into the skin. Or I'll take like some kind of like foundation brush or a powder brush and use that. So I'll actually just show you both ways just so you guys can get an idea. And then we'll go in with the like face colored powder after that everywhere else. So I'm going to show you with the puff first. So before you go in with like a powder type of foundation, you want to make sure you're really moisturized. You want to make sure that it's already uh, sunk into the skin. If you wanted to use a primer, you could, but you want to wait till everything's like pretty much dry before you actually go in. But you don't want to be dry before you put this stuff on. You wanna make sure you're moisturized, even if you have oily skin like me, because then you'll look like super uh, dry and cakey. And if you do, I have a hack for that. So wait till I'm done applying and I'll let you guys know. You see how that doled down my redness? Sometimes I just do that and just go on with my day just if I wanted to kind of calm the redness down, like if it's like super exaggerated or more than normal. And now I'm gonna go in with the LA Colors powder foundation she cute I got this at the dollar store so with this I'm actually gonna take the dry sponge and then to make sure that everything's like blended in evenly I'll take a little bit of the powder on a like actual powder brush and kind of go around so for me I feel like it's less coverage than like normal foundation so it's not something that I do very often but that's kind of why I decided to put it in my little like shop my stash thing unless I'm just going for like a super natural where I just want to like 
kind of hurry up and do it and just get it over with without like really using much. I may just stop here and just go. Most of the time um, I go out with, like without makeup, maybe some lip gloss or lipstick or something like that, nothing too crazy. But sometimes if you do want a little bit of coverage, this would be a good option if you're dry, then um, I'm not really sure if that would work for you because if you put a powder on normally it makes you look really dry. But to fix that, even if you have oily skin like me, um, you can use something like the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is actually something that I learned from Jaclyn Hills. She talks about this all the time. How you can use this or like something like this, like a primer water. Like I have the Smashbox Primer Water. That would work the same. Or there's a few other like, um, like MAC. I have not actually personally tried this myself, but I've heard MAC. Fix Plus also works the same way where if you're looking too powdery or cakey um, you can use one of these kind of sprays to make it look better so I'm going to use that. And you can either just let it dry on the skin or you could use a some kind of sponge and just like push it into the skin. So next we're going to go in with highlighter. Um, for some reason even though these are huge they get lost in my collection. Um, I love Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Jeffree Star himself, but I feel like sometimes uh, I don't really want to go for like a super pink highlight, so sometimes I avoid using this or I'm like, yeah, I just want something kind of natural so I don't normally go for this. I mean, you can like build it up and it'd be super pink, but if you just like lightly go into it, it just seems like a like shimmery highlight. So as long as you don't go too heavy, but sometimes this does get like lost in my collection where I like use other things instead and just kind of not use this. Not like on purpose, not that I don't like it, I love it. But sometimes you get to trying new things and then you just forget about old things. And that's kind of the situation with the shop my stash thing is that sometimes you get so much stuff that you forget to use your other stuff. We're just going to use the Jeffree Star Morphe highlighter brush and apply this beautiful highlighter. Just going to dip in and... And if you feel like, oh no, I applied too much highlighter, then I'll give you a little tip on how to get rid of that. This almost seems like a tips and tricks kind of video versus a <laughs> shop my stash, but just try to give you guys as much info as possible if you are newer to makeup and you would like more information about uh, makeup and like tips about it while I'm doing it. I might as well give them to you So you could take like some kind of brush or sponge or whatever you were using to apply your powder and just kind of maybe dip into the powder I'm not actually going to dip into it I'm just gonna use whatever's left on here and you can kind of diffuse it by just like tapping it out and it'll make it less Pigmented if you did that with like your bronzer or your blush or your highlighter or anything like that It'll kind of diffuse it and make it a little less like boom in your face if you were having that issue like you applied too much. So next I'm going to go in with a highlighter that I'm actually going to use as a blush, which is the reason why I don't use it very often is because it's the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Regina George. It's a bright pink highlighter, but like when you apply it, it does like show up like super pink like on the face so I thought this would be cute as a blush or a br blush topper so that's what we're going to use her for today that's the reason I'm using this in my shop my stash video because I normally don't reach for this because as a highlighter I don't really like it but as a blush I like it she cute as a blush but as a highlighter that'd be way too pink for me so maybe on like darker skin tones it would look really good as a highlighter but for me personally I like to use it as a blush and I have other blushes so sometimes it gets lost in the mix so that's why I'm putting her in the shop my stash so I can remind myself how much I do love it and that I should reach for it more I feel like eyeshadow palettes are something that I always end up getting more and more and more and more of because I love eyeshadow palettes I don't know what it is they're just my weakness for some reason makeup wise so I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Vault Ring the Alarm and Armed and Gorgeous palettes so I'm gonna use like one on each eye um, I don't know why these sometimes get lost in the mix it's just because I got so many eyeshadow palettes that it's hard to like um, pick one to use all the time I don't use the same ones every time but um, I feel like I don't use them enough just because I have so many that 
they get lost. So I'm going to be using both of these today. So we're just going to do some simple, natural, fun, easy glam today. We'll start with the Ring Lee Alarm Palette. I'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside. As you can see, it's been used but barely touched. So I was going to try to do like maybe fun, some fun like everyday kind of looks with these. Maybe they might turn into something else. We'll see what happens, but that's the idea at least. So I'm going to take the shade Rush and I'm going to put that in the crease. So now I'm going to take the shade Alert and I'm going to put that on the outer right corner right here. And the inner corner. Then I'm going to take Secret and I'm just going to tuck that in the crease right here. Then I'm going to take the shade Boom on my finger and use that on the outer middle. And then on camera, which I am, that's hilarious. That's punny. And put that on the inner middle part and kind of connect it to boom. Then I'm going to take on camera and use that to highlight the brow bone and inner corner. Then I want to use Rush in the lower lash line. And then go over it with like a pinch of Siren. I decided to just do Siren on the uh, middle to outer part. So now we're going to go in with Armed and Gorgeous. And uh, this is what she looks like on the inside. She cute. Love her. So I also have this loose powder from Steven Laurent that I got in one of my Ipsies. It's in the shade Antique Olive. So I always forget to use this because I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I forget to use singles. But I thought it would look really pretty over that like olivey green top secret shade right here. I thought they would look really good together, so that's what we're going to try to do with this palette. I'm still going to use the like mustardy yellow shade probably just in my transition, as my transition shade, and then maybe the green one all over my lid, and then that glitter on top. What are we thinking? Does that sound like that would be cute? Let's find out. So we'll go in with Access. I'm just going to put that in the crease. Take a little bit of smooth criminal. Do 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 do. Anyway, and put that in the crease also. Then I'm gonna take top secret, and I'm going to put that on the outer and inner part. We're going to kind of do the same like halo type of eye with both of these palettes. And now I'm going to take the loose powder. I'm going to spray my brush first because I feel like it'll stick to it better. I'm just going to pat this in the center. Stunning. This is also kind of like almost a fall, more like grungier version, I guess. She cute. Not done yet. Probably gonna take a little bit of access. And I'm gonna put that in the lower lash line. And a little bit of the top secret shade right in the center. So next is my Sephora lip powder. I don't really reach for this because I have other liquid lips or lip glosses that I normally use. 
slash prefer over this. This is a pretty good product. I don't feel like it stays on as long as it should, but it does stay on for a pretty long time. It does kind of dry out my lips because it is a powder. So I normally don't use it very often, but it is really pretty when I do use it. And it goes on at about 3.5 seconds, like as you saw, as I was talking this last minute, my lips are done. But it does kind of dry your lips out, so that's the only problem I have with it and why I don't really use it very often, but it's stunning. It does not go with this eye look at all, but that's what I grabbed for this video. I wasn't sure what kind of eye look I was going to do. Do what you want, do whatever lip with whatever eye you want, whatever you think looks good. So last but not least is the Iconic London Sculpt and Boost Eyebrow Cushion. So the reason I don't really reach for this as much is because it's an eyebrow cushion. I got this in my BoxyCharm, but I normally like my brows to look more natural versus like actually looking drawn on and these kind of give me the more like drawn on type of look. But for the sake of the video, I will do these real quick and I'll be right back. So like I said, I prefer my brows to look more natural, like barely they're drawn on, but just like enough to where it looks like they're actually full, but not like Instagram-y or like too drawn on. And I feel like this kind of gives me that, so I normally don't use this very often. I normally like to use a pencil or something like that to fill it in, or like some kind of brow gel. So yeah, so this is my... Uh, full face shot my stash so I hope you enjoyed if you'd like to see more of these definitely let me know I was thinking about doing a like drugstore version or like a high-end version something like that so definitely let me know if you want to see that I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any video suggestions please comment them down below and check the description box for more information about the video on my Facebook Instagram and Twitter at glam girl gray see you next time